from Beachwood, Ohio, Beachwood High School, and Samuel Sarver joins us now on the Big Ten Network. What was the message from Todd Gagley at half? Obviously, you knew you had the wind behind you. What was his message? Yeah, I think that was a huge part in our win today. Uh, we wanted to get the wind out of the way first half, so we knew we'd be a lot more dangerous in the second. Uh, we had a few really good chances in the first half, and they just weren't falling, but, you know, we were playing really good. Everyone was positive. We said once we get one, we're going to get another win. So I think the wind definitely played a factor, especially uh, keeping the ball and pinning them back. But overall, I think we just played really good and just had each other's backs the whole game and stayed positive. Samuel, tell us about the goal, man. That was a ridiculous finish. <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, uh, as soon as we uh, had the second half win, my center back told me just I'm going to hit it long most of the time. And I, uh, I saw the ball keep lofting, so I knew it was going to get over his head. I think he actually touched it a bit, but... Um, I looked up and I saw the keeper. I knew I just had to go for it because he was coming to track me anyway. So I just let one, let one rip and uh, hit it a lot better than I expected. It, but yeah, Samuel, tell us why you chose Indiana to play college soccer. Oh, it, it was really uh, growing up. I've always wanted to uh, go there. Uh, Caleb Porter, great friends with uh, Coach Todd, um, head coach of crew. You know, he's always told me good things because I played for their academy and played under the first team a little bit with him and Aiden Morris as well, one of my really good friends. Didn't have one bad thing to say about it and it was kind of just like the whole package for me, you know, and it just feels like home. You look like the whole package. Go enjoy it with your teammates. Congratulations on that wonder goal. Thank you, thank you. All right, the youngster getting some air time on the Big Ten Network. Such a great goal, it's worth looking at one more time. It's just fun here to break it down because he's exactly right. If he get flicked, he had the awareness to know that the wind was going to have a factor. And he does take a peek at the goalkeeper and knows it's still to know all that and be able to execute. And that's what's so, so incredibly impressive about that finish. A great kid. Great interview. I'm going to drop a name. Caleb Porter, Aiden Morris. He's got those qualities. Hey, that was, he, that was, he didn't take a, a second there. He had those in the, the back pocket. Well done. Yeah.